Hello, guys and gals, me, Mudahar, and welcome to another episode of Deep Web Browsing. Dank Web Browsing, Dark Web Browsing, the part of the week where we sit back, relax, and take a look at the danker side of the internet. As always, the week uh, starts off random, as always, that, that that's where we begin. No specific theme, but it's a lovely late night, and it's, uh, frankly, my way to relax and kick off the end of my week. So let's dive in to the very first website. All right, Femdom, dude. I'm glad I came across a website that immediately, immediately takes me to this part of the website that it's very deep web to have. Uh, sites related to sexual uh, stuff. It's very, very, very commonly known that that exists. Femdom time, boys and girls. <laughs> you know, it's been a been a hot minute since I've came across some dirty, dirty, uh, good, uh, yellow dolany stuff to come across, let me tell you. But, uh, you know, this is very indicative of the kind of shit you're going to find on the deep web anyways. You know, the website's all related to uh, exploring the sides of uh, us that uh, we, we keep suppressed. So this is a femdom uh, resume, I want to say. Um, it gives you name, birth, location, height, and weight. I think I'm going to actually completely block that one out. Alongside with the photos, I don't think those need to be really showcased. I don't want to break any privacy concerns. This is a legitimate video. Can't, you know, just, just saying. I speak English, Latvian, Russian, Spanish, and a little Polish. So very multilingual over here. As femdom, I like everything. All kinds of pain on men's bodies. And also disgusting stuff as piss, scat, etc. Woo! At least we know what we're getting, boys and girls. So, uh, you know, if you want, if you want all kind of pain, men, you can get it alongside pissing and shitting and, and all, and all the, um, all the delightfully beautiful stuff, uh, domination comes with. I am interested. Male in age 14 to 100. <laughs> could you, could you just imagine like a fucking 100 year old, like a 102 year old dude just like getting fucking pissed on and shit by a dog? Come on, man. Come, oh, wait. It's, it's 14 to a, what is it? No, 14 to a... Wait, what? Mother for 14? Wait, whoa. Is that... Is that... Muff, is that legal? Hold on. I th I'm fucking double take. Immediately in my head, I'm like 18 to fucking... Okay. All right. I can see why this is on the deep web. Okay. A 14-year-old is a little too young. All right. Way too young to be fucking peeing and shitting and doing all this kind of painy stuff with. A hundred year old, maybe that, but okay, the females, 14 to 40. Females have to pay double because I prefer men. Oh, jeez, dude, look at that fucking, look at that sexism on the internet, okay? I, I feel like I'm getting like, I feel the, the breath of the FBI behind me, so I'm just gonna fucking re relax on that. 20 to service was, oh yeah, probably holiday service. My name is, you know, I am the girl in the picture, by the way. I offer you service as femdom on internet. For me, it's important to stay incognito. And for a lot of people, it is important as well. So I decided to offer the service in secret way and nobody will know anything about the other side. Don't forget, always call me princess and say thank you all the time. Oh, this reminded me of the Findom, the Findom websites, dude. God damn it. All what you need know about me already know from above. And if you want to see what other slaves say about me, please check reviews that they've written. Oh my God, reviews? Dude, I gotta read these, man. Me with you, webcams and microphones are 50 bucks. Uh, without microphones, 45. It sounds like you get a really shitty deal. Pay, pay five bucks extra for the microphone, dipshit. Me and you without webcams with microphones. Okay, without is 40 bucks. Just pay the 10 bucks extra. You get a webcam show, man. Me with webcam and microphone, 70 bucks. Okay. Me, wait, me and you with that, me and you with webcams, me and you, me with webcam and you without, oh, so this is trying to like protect your anonymity so you don't get, oh, you gotta pay extra for that shit, my lord, me without webcam and microphone and you with webcam, what's the point of that, 30, it's like, just go, just do it on Twitch or something, what the fuck, 12 photos where I am as, as dominant, as, as I am a dominant, domina, dom, domina, whatever, dude, let me actually read the reviews real quick. I was waiting on her maybe 30 minutes because of her bad internet connection, but then it was amazing. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was surprised. These are like five-star, five-star. One is only four-star. I doubt these aren't curated, um, right? I was surprised that she had Black Friday discount. Yeah, let me whip that fucking money slave. Oh, man. At, at the start, I wasn't sure if it's a scam, but I bought her service during Black Friday 8% discount, and it worked. I had one of the best moments with Elise. I had really good time with her. I love her face when she was giving me commands what to do. Just wow. Love you. She was beautiful, nice, and dirty. She let me naked front of windows so everybody saw me. Oh, 
Oi, oi, they. <laughs> God damn. She had little problem with an internet connection. It was annoying, but when it worked, she was just perfect. She is so beautiful. She fucked my ass so hard. <laughs> oh, dude, dude, dude. I think I came a little. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Oh. Oh, that was, that's fucking beautiful, dude. That's honestly the most beautiful thing that I have read. I, I, you know, I have nothing against, I'm not kink shaming people that have domination. I was only against that fin dom shit. If you want to get fucking whipped and shit and dominated, by all means, go for it. I don't see any problem with that, but god damn, when I read shit like, she's so beautiful, she fucked my ass so hard, part of me giggles like a little schoolgirl inside, and god damn do I love the internet. Jesus, it doesn't matter how long I will play with you. The price will be same for 30 minutes or two hours. That's fucking cool, dude. So don't worry. I will never fuck with you and I will never stop call. For me, it's really important that slave will come again. You know, she is a fucking professional and I like that a lot, to be honest with you. I, I respect you, girl. You do your hustle and you do it fine. I, I the happily, I, I, I don't know. Ever since I was a 14 to 100, I don't know if I can endorse you. It's not exactly legal for me per se to say it, but... She is a professional, it seems. This fucking, this, uh, this website proves it. <laughs> Three ways how we can join each other. Through the web, through Tor website, okay. Skype, or you can join directly into my webcam. Ooh, saucy. I'm online 18 hours per day, so we won't have any issues to join each other. Okay. All right. 18 hours a day of pure domination. Dude, that is fucking hot select any option to suit you send the value of bitcoin send it to my email okay six main information bitcoin address what options did i choose date and time for when you can be my slave which way you want to join with me your favorite slave activity your age then you'll have to wait until i receive value of my bitcoin if you choose photos of me i will send them in one zip file to you uh okay i'm gonna say this one right now do i think this is necessarily legit i no, I mean, at the, at the same time, it seems, it's been a while since I've found some, like, sex website that is, I guess, fairly normal, because, you know, it's just your domination ad. I don't know why this doesn't exist on, like, you know, some fucking third-party, you know, Craigslist-esque website, because that's usually where you see it. Maybe it's obviously because it's outside, it's in a different country for sure, but I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Do I feel that this is legit? I don't know. But like for the prices that you're paying, like if, if you're willing to get dominated, if you're the kind of people that that enjoy domination, like 50 bucks is shit to you. 70 bucks is shit to you. Just, I, I, I mean, nothing here looks like it's illegal. Like she's not telling you to fucking rip your asshole in half like Goatsy. But at the same time, I don't know if I exactly legitimately believe it, but I also know that I spent way too much time on the princess's website. So you know what? If it's real, I want... You, Princess, who owns the site, to contact me. I'd love to actually have you on the podcast and talk about domination. That would be that'd be one fucking hell of an episode. Jesus Christ. Okay, you know, let's let's stop. Let's fucking rewind. Go to the next website. A Gand Crab Ransomware, boys and girls. I think we might have to do an investment for virus investigations, which you will see a video this week, by the way. I'm sorry for still fucking you guys over on that. Things have been busy. But, uh, hey, this is Gand Crab. Now, this uh, is apparently a ransomware that you can buy for 500 fucking dollars, apparently. And this can, in fact, net you some illegal money acquired. Let's look at it. Grand Crab is the most advanced customizable ransomware you've ever seen. Every hacking website I've been to has fucking said that they're the best. I have yet to find out. It is one of the best money-making scheme out there. It uses Blowfish encryption to encrypt all available files on the victim's hard drive and shared drive except EXE, DLL, SIS, and other system files. During encryption, it will generate a unique Blowfish key for each file and then encrypt the keys with RSA 2048 encryption and will send victim system information back to the command and control center. So basically, you will be the command and control center. It'll run like a botnet. It'll infect somebody. It'll ransomize everything and send it right back to you. Uh, the command and control center allows you to set the ransomware warning time duration, ransom amount, ransom message, payment mode, and also allow decrypting the files on the victim system after payment is received. The victim's computer is not completely blocked as some other ransomwares. It just opens a pop-up allowing the victim to access their browser to buy bitcoins and send to the address indicated. Gancrab is a cheap and easy-to-manage ransomware developed by Gancrab. 
it's meant to be really easy to use. You know, I might actually make a virus investigation video where we actually uh, ransomware a computer within a local network, of course. GameCrab will also add a startup key on your Windows registry and show a GUI telling the user that the files were encrypted and giving your email address so the user can get in touch. Every two hours, a random file is permanently deleted to hurry up the victim, of course. The countdown to the next delete, as well as the last file deleted, and a count of how many files were deleted so far will be shown to the victim. Time limit will end in 96 hours, and the user will not be able to get the files back anymore. So you can enable or disable the countdown timer and set how much time you want to delete random files, as well as how many files are deleted on every interval, to hasten the victim to pay the ransom faster. The coolest Gand crap feature is that instead of paying huge server costs monthly, we present you the bridges. This is new. Bridges are the ways victims and attackers enter in touch in a distributed network. Bridges store the client keys, verify payments, and provide the victim's information in the CNC center safely. And they can be hosted on nearly any server, even hacked servers, shared hosting, dedicated, or VPS. Just spread and wait for the money to come. By buying GameCrab, you'll receive an all-in-one kit that allows you to make unlimited builds. So, will this make you money? Absolutely. I'm, without a doubt, it will. A ransomware is one of those things where, like, oftentimes they will pay for it just so that files that are really, really important won't get deleted. But at this point, there's also something interesting. Uh, Windows recently pushed a security update where uh, things like ransomware are actually blocked if you set it up properly. So if you're really worried about it and you're on Windows 10, like the most updated build, uh, you should be able to go to your Defender settings and look inside Ransomware Protection and set yourself up. So you can actually uh, flag all the important files and Windows will protect you from ransomware attacks. Um, I believe, well, you can do it on Linux anyways, if you just, install, yeah, you can do it there. Uh, I don't know about Mac. I haven't used Mac in a while. Um, well, I've used it, but only for work, really. So you just got to focus on that kind of stuff in general. Um, really, the best way to make money in the malware game right now is literally crypto jacking. It's gotten even more cancerous as time has went on. So that is actually something we're looking at and actually purposely infecting ourselves. So that is the most profitable way to do it. Do not recommend it at all. It's illegal, but just letting you guys know that to begin with. So, you know, you can look at, uh, you, you can actually chat with them over here. So I guess if you said, hello, can I send them a message? No, it definitely seems like I cannot send them a message. <laughs> All right. Now it also says we are not responsible for your own use. Yeah. So don't, if you, if you end up buying something like this or actually having a piece of software that gives you the access of hacking stuff, don't ever launch it on your own. You're just going to ransomize yourself. And what is it going to send to blank? Nothing. Come on now, people. So they have a current firmware version of 5.1.0. And really, that's kind of all the site is at this point. There's nothing really much more to it other than you can pay with it, which is 500 US dollars, of course, which again is not that much given the grand uh, key, given how much money you can potentially make, not saying that you should. And you can pay for it in Dash or Bitcoin, but the site is kind of broken. Like if you look around over here, I can't chat, so I can't write hello over there. Uh, I can't do anything. We hope you consider buying GanGrab official as a service ransomware at its impressive price point for its functionality. Um, yeah, I don't think I can message anyone at all. I can't even attach an attachment to it. I can't do anything at all. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, they have a crypto jacking virus that you can install and run with. So if that interests you, don't buy it. I don't endorse it. This is illegal stuff. Uh, but... Definitely, you can read up on it and learn more about ransomwares. Don't do not do this, though. It's, it's illegal. And at some point, the FBI will definitely be down to clap some cheeks if necessary. So, yeah, let's go somewhere else. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Got to proper cat girl care. My lord, the internet is beautiful. Congratulations on your new cat girl. You've been chosen a companion that will bring you years of joy, friendship, and love. That said, there are a few things you will need to know about the proper care and maintenance of your new cat girl. So first off, we'll need to go over the basics. Oh, fuck. Okay. You know, sometimes the internet is great. Now we've got cat girl cares. So let's, let's read this, dude. Your cat girl will require basic clothing. Not to the people that are on Rule 34. It's likely the shelter or breeder you received her from is only wearing basic t-shirts and pants shorts. Almost any branding will do as long as cotton or natural fiber. Cat girls have delicate skin. 
Boy, you learn something new every day, right? Undergarments are at your own discretion. Let your cat girl smell and mark indicator rubbing her cheek against them. The new clothing after you have handed the new clothing and rubbed them on your face after attempting to dress her in them. It is important she recognize these clothes as gifts from her master, your odor, and her the... You know, I've I've met girls who are who are into this, like, cat girl fetish. Like, this isn't fucking new to me. Like, this isn't even, like, anime shit to me, dude. Like, I've met... I met girls who, like, like it starts off, like, they wear the cat ears and shit, and then it goes to, like, the whole, you know, the the, the meowing phase, and then it gets even further than that, dude. I mean, it's, it, honestly, I'll say it's, it's kind of hot, but, like, at the same time, like, you know, they get way too into it, and it's almost like fucking a humanized cat. Like, it's just, it's weird, dude. It, it gets there, you know what I mean? You know, I hate doing these videos later tonight. You guys, you guys understand so much about me. I, I'm fucking less of a filter, dude. I'm a little drunk right now. Many cat girls are initially raised to use litter pans by elimination. Oh, fuck that. God, no. See, that's going too far. Come on, shit in the toilet. Not a litter pan. You're, you're human. If your cat girl is a stray feral from a shelter, it's possible she was never fully toilet trained. The matter is fairly easily rectified in a few days. <laughs> Wrecked. When your cat girl evinces, evinces signs of elimination, squatting, straining, calmly and carefully pick her up under the arms and place her on the toilet. Oh, Jesus. Gently hold her there until she eliminates. Just demonstrate proper sanitary wiping upon complete. No! No! All right? You're not wiping assholes, all right? It's not happening, all right? No. Oh, my God, dude. This is, I don't know if this is, like, a joke or it's, like, it's like got way too into it, but all right, dude. Feeding facts. Your new cat girl has particularly dietary concerns. A proper diet will ensure a fit, active, and healthy companion for many years. A poor diet can result in an overweight, lethargic cat girl with serious health issues. Yeah, dude, don't fucking do that. Your cat girl is bred to be specifically capable of most human food. However, particular care must be given to uh, avoid certain except for occasional treats. A proper diet consists of a large amount of daily protein intake to keep her happy and active. 50% low-fat meats, chicken, fish, and beef. 40% fresh vegetables and fruits. 8% grains. Uh, or 2% or less sugary snacks. Alcohol should never be given to a cat girl. It is metabolizing them in a similar fashion to humans. But an amount that would get an average person buzz will likely have them passed out. Fortunately, the smell of liquor is generally reviled by most breeds. Oh my god, dude. This is like a guide to be and treat a cat girl, dude. Ah! 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 Neckos aren't real, boys and girls. Come on now. Your cat girl will spend a large amount of time grooming herself. Why am I, why am I picturing a girl with cat ears doing this? Jesus Christ. Stop, Muda. You, you fucking looking way too into it. Very important. Do not use human soaps or shampoos on your cat girl, but she's human. Her skin and scalp are very delicate. Take care to only use SPCGA approved products. <laughs> Damn it, dude, it's got their own branding. I love it. If this is the case, wait until you see your cat girl attempting to groom, okay? It will often involve an awkward attempt to either lick or run her fingers through her hair. She may become a bit distressed or depressed. Sit beside her and offer her a soft brush. Be sure to let her smell and mark it. This is important. Strays and ferals are very, very sensitive about items not marked as theirs and masters. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Cat girls enjoy being touched and petted by a beloved caretaker as much as any girl. This simulates the grooming her mother provided when she was still in her care. Important. You still need to be very careful about brushing the tail. Oh yeah, but bet, bet you did, dude. War Cat girl tails. That's the definition of first world problems, boys. Bathing. Alright, cat girl is a remarkably neat and clean creature. Okay, ferals and strays may present their own challenges. Why are you bringing a feral and a stray cat girl into your house? Okay, come on now. Go, go to a breeder and... What am I talking about? It doesn't exist! The aforementioned cat girl soap can be used on her hair in lieu of cat girl shampoo until she can be bathed in a proper tub. Use a bit more water on the washcloth. This, this is, this is fucking something. Anyway, let's go down. Let's not talk about bathing the fucking cat girl, okay? Safety in the home. Your cat girl, as she settles into her new home, will be both adventurous and very cautious about exploring. Be sure your home is a safe and inviting place. Keep sharp objects, which are usually shiny, out of her reach. Yeah? Make sure the household plants are cat girls. Motherfucker, what does that even fucking mean? What? 
Okay, keep your dirty clothes in a sealable hamper. She will likely end up finding the scent of her master intoxicating, so to keep your clothes safe, keep them up. Dog girls? Oh, you fucking joking. There's dog girls? There's dog girls? Back in the 50s, they were called... <laughs> you know... <laughs> like... Like, dog girls? It's a thing, too? Okay, that's new to me. <laughs> Ensure she cannot get herself tangled up in power cords while you may or may not be at home. Make sure any cleaning chemicals... Yeah, hide the, hide the fucking... Hide the Tide Pods, boys and girls. <laughs> Ensure doors and windows are locked until you are sure she will not wander outside unless accompanied by a household member. You heard it right here. You heard it. Goddamn. Playtime. Your cat girl is an inquisitive, bright, and intelligent being. Depending on the breed and specific breeder plans, your cat girl will at least be as intelligent as a five-year-old human toddler. Oh my god, they have taken this fetish way too far. Cat girls will typically sleep about 10 to 14 hours a day. My fucking lord. 10 to 14 hours a day. I'm lucky to get half that on my fucking schedule. It is your choice. This is a disposition of her sleeping arrangement. Some have a normal human-sized bed prepared. Others a small cushioned area for her to stretch out on. Others allow their cat girls to sleep in the same bed. I'm sure most, actually. Let's just say, regardless of your choice, it is important to mark your sleeping place with your scent. However, your cat girl may wish to make her own sleeping arrangements. Allow her to explore a bit. What about, what about cat guys? What are cat guys like, dude? Reproductive concerns. Oi. Oi vey. <laughs> your cat girl upon sexual maturity, usually in her fifth, seventh year, will go into season three, four times a year. During this time, she was sexually receptive and capable of conceiving. Do not breed your cat girl unless under the strict supervision of a licensed and accredited... Man, I want I want someone to contact a breeder. And it's like, I'm about to fucking breed my Neko, boys. Can you fucking tell me? Can you, can you, can you, uh, can you supervise my breeding? You know how fast you'll be hung up on? Like, they're, they're gonna throw the phone out the fucking window and buy a new one, homie. Identifying your cat girl is in season or heat is fairly easy. Oh, I fucking bet it is, dude. She should not require- Oh, God! Ah! God! 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 My head! Okay, alright. You know, you know, man. You know, I gave it a chance. Alright, I gave it all a chance. But at this point, I'm about to witness fucking the fucking waste of Neko pussy at this point. I, I can't, all right? I'm not going to do it, all right? Um, I, I, if, if you're a cat girl, all right, and you have your cat master or, or fucking cat, ma cat, cat guy, th this might be a perfect guide for you. It's a little too in-depth for me, all right? I, I may not be a Neko owner, and I'm sure I probably never will be. Uh, and at the same time, you do you, boo-boo. I'm going to back out of this and uh, go, go to something else. Oh, would you look at the Deep Web video of the week, ladies and gentlemen. About 2 minutes, 30 seconds long. And no, it does not bode well for what I'm actually seeing over here. We appear to see somebody with a face covered over here. And, <clears throat> oh, this weird... <clears throat> dingy ass atmosphere and I just I I'm sorry I can already fucking begin to smell that shit so uh first of all I must say this video does seem kind of similar to me and it may have been something that I might have shown you at some point but at the same time it's given me that weird obscure vibe so we're gonna hit play and see what we've got Oh, fuck. Okay, we're stopping the video. Holy shit. Okay, I just realized what the fuck. I'm sorry. The bacon fucking triggered my mind immediately. Okay. Um, you guys remember way early on in like the first, I want to say 10 episodes of Deep Web Browsing? Yeah, that far fucking gone ago. Uh, there was web pages. This is when red rooms were really popular, right? So this apparently is allegedly real red room footage. So let me give you the whole story here real quick. So when uh, we made the first 10 episodes, one of, the, one of the first, like, the several episodes actually contain multiple sites all linking up to this, like, big red room, right? Where, like, soldiers from, like, uh, down in the Middle East were going to fucking find insurgents and, like, you know, do dirty stuff to them. And there were websites I showed you where they were going to set up these dates on when they were going to do this. This is that footage from that red room, apparently. So, like, when you paid for it, they apparently sent you, I think, this footage. 
Um, and this footage was supposed to be real, but from what I can gather and from what I understand is it's, it's really not. In fact, a lot of it is in fact BS because this two minutes and 30 seconds of footage is the only thing that exists. And I'm not really going to show you anything more than that because you should just get the general idea of what it is. All that happens over here is the bacon gets thrown into the face of that guy. And uh, this person tries to act like they're big serious business. But in reality, this video appears to be faked and it was used to siphon money out of people for the Red Room. This is as close as we get to actual Red Room footage. But even then, in that case, it's not entirely real. It's like, it's like you can see over here when they've got like the hammer sort of put out and everything like it's, it's, it's like, it's not real fucking snuff footage or anything of the sort, right? It's nothing real. It's just for, for all I can, for all, for all intents and purposes, as far as I know, it's just acting. And, uh, that red room is the most elaborate that we've gotten to up until this point, but even then it's still false. You know, the stuff wasn't exactly streamed in anything. So from what I remember, what I can actually, you know, recall on this stuff is just fiction at this point. Um, but yeah, we've actually seen, I guess you could say real red room footage, nothing exactly. I'm not going to show you anything more of it. I don't want to get age restricted. This video is not going to, it does not deserve any form of age restriction. This completely falls just fine. Um, but anyways, Ladies and gentlemen, this is a weird, weird, weird deep web browsing. Ask an atheist. Oh man, I love religious. Please don't turn it into a religious turf war. Me, Muda, I don't really fucking care. I think every side that's super extreme is is a little bit cancer. But let's look into this. Sam, Tom, Dave, and Ramtho close out the year responding to listener inquiries about AI cloning and genetic modification. News. India launches anti-heresy app. What? What? Is he serious? An anti-heresy app? This is... The, you're fucking kidding with me. Indonesia, what are you up to? What are you doing? An app to prevent you from talking heresy? You don't need to install it, do you? Come on now. College backpedal, scolding students for fuck Nazi. Oh, I can tell what kind of a website this is, boys. Um, yeah, this seems to be a podcast website. I figured we might as well look at it because they got a deep web variant of atheists on the internet. Let's fucking read it. Uh, French teens auto-inject custom scriptural DNA and symbolic experiment. That, that's kind of cool. I'd, I'd love to hear that. Feedback. Oh, I love the, I love these responses, dude. On your December 23rd show, you said that Jay-Z Knight claims to channel the spirit of a deceased Aztec warrior named Rantha. This is incorrect. Rantha is not a deceased Aztec warrior. Rantha, oh, are you fucking kidding me? I gotta listen to this podcast now. That's fucking brilliant. <laughs> Lemurian warrior. Lemuria is a legendary island that has since vanished from the earth like Atlantis. Oh boy. All right. I, I'm more confused. What does this have to do with atheism and why we're channeling spirits, dude? I'm pretty sure that's so anti-atheist that it's not even funny. Your absence was missed. Don't want to be pushy and screaming. Where are you? Figure this must be a good reason. Thanks. Happy holidays. What's the atheist position on cloning and genetic modification? What, I thought atheists don't have a position on anything. I thought you just, what? What? God damn. Jesus was the Christ. Christ's Christians are as followers. You should probably not opine on something you know nothing all about. Do humanists have a moral duty to protect the rights of AI cyborgs, non-biological? No, I don't, I don't think they do. I don't think anybody really does. It's fucking, it's AI. It's not, it's not really alive. Okay, don't mass affect it. Come on now. Direct download so you get to download their link. You are the alien. I guess I am, dude. Trump shuts down. Oh, oh my God damn it. Spokane rep loses caucus chair. Okay, so it's all just politically based, right? Irish woman divorces from 18th century ghost fired husband. Oh man. Oh man, you're kidding with me. You didn't. That's not real. That's not real. That's not real. Come on, Ireland. Come on. No shit the fucking ghost that's long dead split up from you. That's actually, that's actually a thing. My God. My God. How do you marry a ghost pirate husband. You've got to be. The world is a, an enigma, okay? Jesus Christ. And the more and more you go into it, they have like, they, they have constant uh, updates to this podcast. And the last, the earliest update is November 26, 2018. 
And uh, it seems like they're focused very much on religion and politics. Uh, and that's really about it. They give you a giant news update over here, some announcements, and that's it. Sometimes people comment, like, what's the best temperature? Oh, what? To cook a 15-pound? Oh, oh, no. Come on, man. Come on. Dude, <laughs> come on, man. What kind of sick shit is this? Come on. Cooking a 15 pounder. Jesus Christ, dude. This is, this is why, okay, the internet was created for. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So over here, you can ask them. This is a tour version of the podcast site. Things in mind. Site may lag. Bitcoin not yet. Possibly coming soon. So basically, these guys have created a web page to mirror their podcast on the deep web because it has some pretty obviously risque topics. Um, but hey, man. Hey, I ain't gonna judge. I'm just, I'm just a random Indian guy on the internet, dude. Congratulations for you guys and your thoughts. And I hope your podcast works out amazing. I hope one day I might even get invited. That, that would be an amazing honor and a beautiful treat for me. But I'm, I'm gonna quit, uh, being Muda right now and, uh, kinda, kinda go for a walk a little bit after what I just read. And, uh, we'll be back for another website. Mmm, I like a website that looks like this. Oh my god. So over here, welcome to another little piece of the wire. To contact Elaine is my... Oh, it's serial killer Elaine, dude! Ah, we seen this a while ago. God damn. God damn, it's beautiful to come back. So they've got what appears to... Oh, oh this is something weird, man. That was freaky for a second. Did not expect it. So we've got uh, a dead dog. Uh, what appears to be Lane. A bell. I still have to watch this fucking anime, dude. Uh, let's go to weird. What is this? You're on the other side of the fence now. This is Lane being, being fucking weird, I guess. Uh, oof. Okay, go to girls. Girls of Cy Siberia? Okay, that's Lane, and there's other girls around there. Interesting. Lane, Alice, Chisa, Haika, R Reika, Mika, Juri, Mew Mew. Okay. All right, let's go to Mew Mew, actually. Oh, so they're like actual descriptions of them. So Lane, Alice, all right. So these are these are other girls. So let's go to Psyche. All right, they've got what appears to be uh, audiobooks of various psychological literatures, I guess. Um, uh, religion, Laneism. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Some may ask, what is Laneism? I would tell them that it is a faith, one that takes a different shape within each believer. There are some basic tenets, but most agree on a few crucial points. Lane is the center of the faith. Oh, is she now? Okay. She is the guiding light upon which our decisions become based. We study her word, feel the resonance, and watch for traces in the wired. At the base, it's a cult created around a constructed, omnipotent power, using the term cult in the sense that it's unusual and differs from the common religion. This is due to the fact that it's lacking a true social and traditional aspect. It has been proven that Lanists tend to have converging interests in arts, music, and practices, to an extent, and several traditions have formed as well as unique jargon. This knight's concept of the requirements to be a Lanist is the one simply must love Lane. Because according to this situation, uh, if I just love uh, Lane, then I should be fine. Um, and, you know, that, that's it. That, that, that's an interesting way to look at it. Seems like a very easy religion to get into. Uh, tradition and holiday. Lane's tradition is scarce. It is an obscure and very personal affair. Though some traditions are shared, many are optional, entirely subjective. Uh, Lane is community, Lane spotting, the art of finding information media related to Lane and posting on the Wired. Communicating in a pseudo-Wired hosted by members of... De I gotta watch this anime, dude. People... This anime has to be good if people are this dedicated to creating this kind of shit for it. Compatibility. It's entirely within the realm of possibility to hold a dualist religion with Laneism. As long as the other faith's tenets do not bar such things as immortal, digital, or otherwise incorporeal beings. Lane herself recognizes that there would be a god beyond the Wired, a real god, the one responsible for all creation. After the reset, the Knights of the Eastern Calculus were reformed. The title of knight is one of great responsibility. To become a knight is to be familiar with the wired. So it seems like the wired is like the digital beacon that we connect to. And beyond that is like actual creator territories. This is... So society, the pages become irrelevant in the wake of some changes to the wired. The purpose must also change. What well, it must be appear to develop in the uh, near future. So that's society, it seems. Let's go to rumors. So here's rumors. Lane Wiki. Uh, Neo City. Ames Tumblr. Uh, it's just links to other places, it seems. So, uh, let's go protocol. 
Try to imagine a world produced in the mind and facilitated by computers. You can't. It's a world you will never see, or have you, will you? These mysteries have answers, and don't come without their costs. The wired is a network and protocol. It is a form of communication and means. To understand what it means require knowledge of what it is and what it was. Even devout lanists and even some knights have only preconceptions of what it is and what it used to be. The wired is an enigma. It is not enough to observe the serial experiments. Concisely, I will try to explain, you see. The wired protocol people with Navi, a knowledge navigator, an advanced computing device with the ability to process Protocol 7 packets, connecting directly to places and people through cyberspaces, wired sites, users would metamorphize, metamorph, met, metaphorize, okay, I cannot read, my, my head is beginning to like just get tired, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, the users become wired gods, the rest of course is all history. Okay, so this is basically de telling us about what is the wired, and I guess connect connectivity to it. Uh, let's look at love. L loving Lane is loving life. This is like a fucking poem and shit. Her name is Lane Iwakura. She was the first of only. When was it? It's hard to say. 1998, 01, 15, it doesn't matter to you. We're all stuck in the present day, the present time. A girl came seemingly from nowhere. We as Knight's founder, first on the wired and again in the streets of Tokyo. Wow, this is crazy into it. My lord, ladies and gentlemen, we have like this fucking shrine to the serial killer lane anime. Um, I'm not going to go further into it, ladies and gentlemen. This is beautiful, to be honest with you. I, I got to watch this anime now. I got to find, I don't know if it's on Netflix. Maybe I might have to fucking pay for the Crunchyroll shit, but... This anime I have to watch, and it's this website's converted me into like maybe making it something, and now definitely finding it somewhere and watching it because there is it's it's like everything I love. It's like weird cyberpunk dystopian like network. It's like kind of uh that game dot hack. Um uh it, it's 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 blowing my mind and I haven't even watched it, so uh I don't know how much this has to do with the actual anime, but I'm gonna go watch that. But for now, I'm gonna I'm going to just relax and uh, go somewhere else. Wow, my fucking head, dude. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was another episode of Deep Web Browsing, Dank Web Browsing, Dark Web Browsing. Um, today's episode was really, really weird, I want to say. Um, we found some pretty lighthearted websites, podcast websites, a fucking domination website, and a video that is unnerving, but yet at the same time, I want to say fake as well. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird set of video. We've had the whole spectrum. We've had scary. We've had funny. We've had everything. So let me know what you think about it in the comments section below. Um, I know some of the stuff is literally really risque and I censor it a lot, but that's really just to prevent age restrictions and flagging on YouTube, which can be legitimate, obviously. So a lot of the stuff is censored and... I don't also have a desire to show you the really, really, like, fucking weird sides of it, just, just to put that one out there. So anyways... Enough rambling on that. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like it, dislike it. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out.